Yes, uh, hello everybody. Welcome to our global summit in Global Peace Building Network. Uh, we uh, have a great vision finish Ultima Global Peace Building by 2027. And uh, here, most I invite just special people, those who really work uh, with us. And uh, uh, I will give a short presentation, uh, just uh, maybe some short report. Uh, so how was uh, all this uh, time is, is with some of you, we work already for three years, with some of them even more, with some even one month, but uh, anyhow, it's going. Okay, so uh, how we could go, okay. Uh, as you know, I'm a writer and I worked for recently 25 years for a United People Organization to finish uh, Global Peace by 2027, um, uh, just don't just uh, write some books ideas, but uh, let's practice them. And ideas to make a world without any traces of sin, any any of this uh, uh, fighting, uh, and totally peace and relax. Oh God, okay, this is one of my first presentation. You see I'm very <laughs> And uh, see some uh, meetings uh, um, around. Uh, okay, I, I want to focus a little bit on my uh, our um, as we start from the beginning seven area where we work. So first is about ambassadors. Uh, most of you are already peace ambassadors from our global peace building network, and uh, we are we are networking with you. And uh, just in September 21, we give a first certificate of uh, like your to one president of Africa. So, um, and also we have a great uh, suggestion from uh, Maria Luisa uh, to give uh, peace ambassadors uh, even to the children of schools and the uh, student universities, um, not just for leaders for organization and countries and uh, is the right of things to do there. Um, I have a report already, you see in the social network all these uh, reports and photos. Uh, another area where we're working is the business. As you know that um, we need to have some finances. Um, so uh, I, I'm uh, myself working in IT and uh, also recently one of our ambassador invites us to uh, invest in, uh, and buy an island, island <laughs> in Maldives. <laughs> To make an ideal, uh, <laughs> ideal, uh, I'll say city there. <laughs> anyhow, uh, there's a possibility, but anyhow, we, we some some of you are already working in a different of your business, um, and uh, we unite uh, further ideas to inspire uh, those who have uh, um, money to uh, help other people who don't have it to, to make their own business because everybody is supposed to have a business. <laughs> and the uh, rich countries to support uh, poor countries. And uh, uh, another area is uh, Happy TV. We are working in the media. As you see, every day uh, there's a marathon. I posting um, some ideas about the uh, free world and the uh, uh, free world from Tin to um, all social network uh, and uh, culture, art, everything supposed to be purified to be just uh, for this, uh, because uh, as you watch the TV, it's completely opposite. So we're supposed to inspire those on TV to make uh, something peace because uh, God's uh, uh, ideal is unlimited. Uh, but uh, if they show just, you know, like uh, uh, this whole nature and uh, this is just limited and it's the same like murder, uh, love of marriage and the corruption. So uh, we don't need all of this and new world. <laughs> so uh, also about the Happy TV, I want to in, uh, inspire you. If you have any video, as you see in our channel, I share, just share to me and I will share in our channel. So um, um, any of you advertisements uh, about peace, about your work, about uh, uh, fundraising, anything just send to me and I will send it uh, sometimes it gets to 100,000 uh, people, but um, we are growing <laughs> to bring just peace and happiness. So, and uh, about the business also, uh, I'm working um, 
20 years there or almost 25 so i could consult you to start from the scratch and do your business and work at every level of your business i could consult you how to get it better from our global peace building network and uh, okay let's go next to the education so uh, education is uh, peace education just uh, we don't need to educate uh, people just uh, as well till now just about uh, uh, science and they could make uh, atomic bombs and other stupid things uh, but uh, we're supposed to add these two values values of human life that every human is important and this is what we are doing there um, next is about the uh, youth and the children they is our future generations and it's, it's very important to uh, inspire them to give them a vision because as you see uh, recently i see this trend that uh, especially youth they are not don't care so much about this fighting and wars they want to live just in peace and uh, and this is good it's not supposed to inspire them to live like that and you see that the wellness travel and global village project okay another one is the families the families is the basic unit for the heavenly kingdom <laughs> so uh, therefore we are training our own families and also i'm making a lot of programs and uh, globally about trading families so uh, let's contact uh, to receive more information about them the, also about pilgrimage, we have this um, uh, daily prayer meeting uh, where we invite uh, also scientists. They came with the report, uh, what they research about this and how, uh, and also interfaith. Uh, there is uh, many um, people who join uh, globally uh, in these uh, hundreds of days uh, as we are doing this uh, marathon. They join with their prayers for peace as we mobilize heavenly world that's because we know that God is uh, doing 95% of the all world affairs and human beings to all their trade, even they have atomic bombs and other stupid things, uh, they could do maximum 5%. So this is good. Uh, we're supposed to mobilize heavenly world to help uh, humans uh, for Osman by 2027. And as I invite you to True Love Revolution, uh, that means invite uh, everybody as you are working very hard uh, for and new organizations uh, let's do it inspire people to live for the sake of others not just selfishly as you see selfish uh, people selfish families selfish countries uh, as uh, we see the world pictures now one percent of the population uh, they gather one 99 percent of the wealth and power and therefore world is suffering so let's inspire them to invest in the peace Okay, so now is your turn. I want to invite you, everybody, by um, um, everybody. I invite you to say a powerful prayer, a powerful message for peace, and uh, you report and uh, your ideas uh, because uh, you are building this uh, global peace building network. So it's so good to work with you. And first, I want I would like to invite to Maria. Uh, she usually have very great ideas about sponsors, about <coughs> contacting ambassadors and the president and the uh, peace and schools everywhere. So, uh, Maria, welcome. Yeah. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, I just would like to have an input <clears throat> to the whole organization, the different ambassadors that uh, uh, this 2023, my my project for the first quarter will be celebrating the um, Women's Month. And here in Turkey, we'll be awarding the Outstanding Inspiring Women. So um, in this case, there are a lot of categories. We had from the entrepreneur, from the science, from philanthropy. So this is a, uh, a project we're in. Uh, this will be um, encouraging for the empowerment of women of Turkey. And, you know, Turkey is an Islam country. It's very hard really to to sometimes to make it a point that they will be in, uh, joining a certain project. But this one, they are welcoming it. And we also make a letter already to the different embassy wherein they could nominate 
uh, an aspire, inspiring uh, women from their end. So from there, we're going to have the awarding on March 11. And one more thing, uh, the only request that I'm suggesting on the organization, though if the organization like uh, Nicole has already as the president, and he, he has already the, what do you call this, the board of directors of Global Peace Foundation, uh, Global Peace. So would it be possible, I'm telling him that, would it be possible that if we could uh, make an, an external officer on that and make a global project where in this will create an impact on different countries. I know that every one of us as ambassadors have projects on their different countries. However, uh, it's my suggestion that if we could have a global project wherein this will be, create a great impact and create awareness on our part. And one more thing though, we have Happy TV. Uh, I'm going to have a YouTube channel, a podcast, wherein uh, it's about peace, it's, it's about inspiring others. So, uh, this will not be participated only by myself, but if you have some uh, uh, inputs on that, I can put it on. And maybe someday, someday, maybe uh, this 2023, I will get an airtime on different countries wherein we, they could give us a free airtime on their national TV for global peace. I'm working on this. Philippines, no problem. No problem with the Philippines because I've been there. I've been 21 years in media. So uh, the president channel in the Philippines are giving us a, an airtime of 30 minutes to air our project as a global peace. So no problem with the Philippines. Now, uh, since we are in different countries, if you could make an exil or uh, what they call this, what, what I mean by exil is they give us an airtime. And if we get the sponsors, we, we slice it up. 50 50. So that's it. Uh, it's a one way of income generating. Uh, I know, I know that this is a foundation. I know that we help people, but we have also to earn because if we have going to project, we don't have money. So what we have to do is that if you have pre TV, <laughs> uh, it's, it's reality. We always help. Me, I always help, but sometimes. The transportation uh, fee, the transportation going to one city from another, you know, it's it will be from us. So what we have to do, if you have a national TV on your country, make an X deal. I will teach you how. Tell them to give us an airtime of thirty minutes, and then we make uh, we search for sponsors. We look for sponsors and tell the TV that if there are sponsors coming. It will be 50 50, 50 from the station, 50 from us. That's it. Now, if you will be the one to get the sponsors, no problem. Uh, 25 from the for Global Peace, 25% from the one who gets the sponsor. That's fair enough. Because, of course, sometimes uh, TV, TV owners also, TV air, uh, airtime owners also would also like, what will we gain from Global Peace? So he said, if you could get sponsors and there are sponsors, we had 50, 50%, 50 from you and 50 from us. So you, the one who gets the sponsors will get 25% and 25% from Global Peace Organization. So that if we have projects, it will, be not, it will not be coming from our own pockets. And just to encourage the, the, the TV network, our, uh, our content should be well uh, produced and it will be relevant to their local TV. Okay, so that's what, because this 2023, yes, we are known, we are, we are like me in Turkey, like in India, maybe in Africa also. Yes, we are known already, but we have to create a great, global impact wherein we will be recognized as this organization is doing a, a global project wherein it will not only be in our own country it will not be in, in only one city so we have to plan this 2023 and there are a lot of activities of united nation 
wherein we could you could write on your United Nation on your country that we, uh, for example, the ambassador of, for example, the ambassador of Turkey, I'm doing this project for global peace for the women, uh, uh, celebrating the International Women Month, uh, celebrating the Earth Day. So that's it. Uh, we have to create now a big impact globally. That's what I like. It's not only on our country. Uh, that is my suggestion to our president. And if we could make an external officer on that, that's it. Uh, we could do that. Um, from your end, it can be an appointed uh, external officers, though you have your own board of directors. So uh, make an external officer where in this external officers will really move and will have a global impact for the foundation. That's it. This is only my request and I'm doing it on my own. So um, there are a lot of projects we can do. I don't know what you're doing in your counter, but I'm sometimes I'm scanning the, the, the WhatsApp, our WhatsApp uh, group. Yes, but uh, I mean, try to make a project wherein it will be a global impact, not only in your country, the whole uh, global peace. Th that's my plan. And uh, there are, if you will see, there are calendars in United Nations wherein they celebrate each. Now make, uh, make it a point to see that, to scan that and see what is the relevant project you can do for your country and try to make a letter to United Nations that we from Global Peace uh, is making a project tie up with you and see. Uh, like okay, you okay, Lu Luisa. Sorry, uh -huh. uh, it's very good proposal. Uh, we have a few minutes. <laughs> Just uh, let's yeah, 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 yeah. Add uh, it, okay? This is only my request because I have a meeting and uh, I'll just make um, audio. Yeah, so from, that's uh, okay. Please, uh, ask everybody, please write in chat who want to be in the board of director of Global Peace Building Network. Just write there. Any ideas that you can came in your head, the chat is open now. Okay. Okay. So um, okay. I'm, uh, I'm open uh, for the chat 24 per 7 and WhatsApp and uh, Facebook everywhere you could see me about uh, and um, also please uh, reply when you want to be to came to uh, daily meeting or weekly meeting. Uh, we could make uh, meet uh, we could meet the Global Peace Building Network and uh, discuss about it. Uh, I like very much Luisa because she is very uh, uh, straight and uh, she was working with coca-cola unilever and uh, asking for sponsorship for so our uh, global project if we give you awarding uh, global uh, ambassadors uh, ambassadors in, in the school you could uh, um, how say go to director of uh, uh, coca-cola or others and uh, award them with the global peace building network award uh, and ask them for finance for sponsorship and for you local project uh, is because Luisa said that it's very important to contact community leaders. Uh, I know she is contacting for country community leaders and uh, and also even police. <laughs> so she give their uh, peace ambassador certificate and she make a peace club in uh, her country. So this is very good. Just in new projects, please use our logo, logo Global Peace Building Network global logo. As if you don't have it, just ask me and I will send it. Uh, so this is shortly a comment about uh, uh, Maria presentation. I want to invite uh, now uh, uh, Dr. Vijay Kumar from the India. He is just crazy busy with the project there. I every day, morning and evening, uh, we receive his uh, report. Uh, uh, Dr. Vijay Kumar, if you have a few seconds, uh, one, two minutes uh, to say something about your proposal, your project, and uh, anything, uh, how we could uh, move forward to Global Peace Building Network. Welcome. Vijay yes, sir. Kumar. Yes, welcome. Yes, very good evening to everyone. <laughs> this is uh, Dr. G.S. Vijay Kumar from India. Uh, I am good a national morning. president. Yeah, very good morning, uh, madam. <laughs> so I am a national president. Uh, Federation of Indian NGOs and Humanity Service, uh, that is short and called FNI. Uh, we are doing a lot of projects in every state, every district. Uh, through our Global Peace Net, we are promoting our Global Peace about our NGO team. So we are ready to do the all NGO supports for Global Peace Net. Uh, 
first of all we are going to be approach our government sector and uh, for uh, giving more support from uh, uh, government side that we are requesting our pr president already i sent it the feedback uh, uh, this year uh, russia ukraine war has held uh, we already know a huge impact on people the people of the world are well aware of the extent to which humanity is fading away our fni charity organization is constantly raising awareness among people about social religious harmony world unity humanity and global peace so that such war does not happen again yeah so, so we, we are ready to grow our uh, global peace in future appoint necessary ngo leaders for uh, all the state in all district and all uh, countries so each country we promote humanity and world peace through them by giving some ngo project and make a huge impact among the people and develop our organizations so <clears throat> so to improve our joint global peace net work for the next year a uh, world charities under an one umbrella by carrying out the work of bringing and uh, coordinating it through charity organizations the plight of today's society and the where nights we are we are we are nurse of humanity highlighting that huma humanity highlighting that human harmony is the best weapon of peace and understanding the duties that people have to perform to the society together with the service organization to give the necessary awareness to the public and also make a call for a such service so we are ready to uh, associate and uh, with global peace net more than uh, 10 lakh member through our india so are ready to uh, give the all the members on 2027 global peace ultimate so if our company offered to consider the ideas requested to survey our ngo peoples through global peace net fni can work together with millions of members associated with global peace net global peace net meet the un organization as well as honorable president of the government of respective countries and in order to encourage humanitarian services and advance revival project for world peace if we get government approval and work together with the government our ultimate global peace net can achieve a huge growth by 2027 and make our dream comes in true thank you very much thank you my president thank you for giving this opportunity thank you to god to associate all countries through our global peace net thank you thank you so much uh, thank you very much dr vijay kumar i like you very much uh, that on you all your project you use our logo <laughs> please keep like yes, this yes <laughs> yes because <laughs> this is uh, we don't uh, how say in, uh, infiltrate in others like we don't uh, improve others supposed to use it but uh, it's very good when people use it and they they and one network they understand they are Uh, they raise the flag of peace <laughs> so this is yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay thank you very much and also okay. uh, it's very good your proposal about government uh, so already first step we made but uh, let's go forward and uh, yeah. this is um, open the chat is open and then let's meet uh, every every week once per week and discuss about this uh, how to make forward not just uh, every month okay so thank yeah. you very much let's invite now clive uh, from uh, Kenya he is very great uh, uh, global uh, peace activist uh, for and uh, climate advocate Clive welcome Thank you so much Nikolai uh, my name is Clive camera. Uh I I may not be able to put it on right now No problem. Yeah, just Yeah. Yeah, so my name is Clive Donley. I am uh working as a human rights educator and also a climate activist uh dealing with the research on climate and also policy reforms linking human rights 
peace, security, and also climate justice. So in the recent in the recent uh, months, few months, we've been working on uh, different projects, and also we are beginning to integrate uh, climate interfaith for climate justice, whereby also we are trying to uh, come up with complete pilgrims for climate justice, whereby uh, we are using this concept to bring more people because uh, we believe that uh, the church is uh, close to people, people's heart, and it is easy to raise awareness when we collaborate with the church. Also, I've been trying to find uh, actualize the SDGs, particularly uh, goal number 16, uh, when you're dealing with peace, security. And recently, we have been to the United Nations headquarters in Kenya, whereby we're trying to come up with uh, different ideas for SDGs and how community members can be engaged more uh, when we drafted more questionnaires. And also with the recent COP27 that just ended, uh, we're, we were coming up with the data collection on how loss and damage finances can reach to uh, community members who are experiencing climate change and are in very dire situation experiencing hunger. And so we are trying to come up uh, with the approaches whereby uh, they'll be able to mitigate these challenges and also coming up with the mechanisms on whereby uh, every, every community members is on board in terms of building resilience. Uh, recently also we've been in touch with the Switzerland ambassador uh, whereby even recently I think they have posted uh, that they're helping <clears throat> uh, East African people who are facing drought, uh, whereby they're helping in supply of grains. Uh, they're also helping, they're channeling a lot of money to help uh, grains from Ukraine uh, to be channeled in different situations to mitigate hunger. And so generally we are trying to work with the collective engagement of con communities on how they can build resilience and also majorly with peace at the forefront. Thank you. Yes, uh, Clive, well, thank you so very much. Uh, I always uh, uh, see you with our um, uh, idea about uh, uh, cleaning the earth. <laughs> And you are planting trees there and everywhere of this uh, um, climate, um, different actions and flash mobs. <laughs> so keep going like that. <laughs> so, and I'm so happy that you already start to contact the ambassadors and work with them because uh, this is most important to work with ambassadors and new countries from different countries, from you and U USA. Uh, let's invite now. Um, uh, okay, wave. Uh, Wave, he have a great project there. Maybe you could give a presentation, short presentation. About yes, good morning to everybody. I am uh, Nelson Vave Rurumba from Fiji in South Kivu province in uh, the eastern parts of the Democratic Republic of Congo in Africa. I am uh, a social worker. I am uh, a peace ambassador. I am also the founder of uh, Actions for Peace and community developments. This is a local organization working here in freezing eastern parts of the DRC. Nowadays, we are having projects about uh, peace building. We are conducting awareness campaigns on peace issues. As you know, it's not a secret. The Democratic Republic of Congo has become like Ukraine of Africa. It is a country which is mostly affected by war, as we are in the meeting right now, fightings are going on here in the eastern parts of the country. So uh, we are really uniting people, telling them about uh, stopping violence, to think about peace building, because peace is an issue that needs the contribution of everybody, not only one person, but we need all of us to join all of us, our efforts so that we can reach peace. And uh, what we are doing is not sufficient. I would like to congratulate this organization, Global Peace Building Network, so that we can also have something to contribute to bring peace here in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Because as I am speaking now, thousands of people are displaced, living in bad conditions. Uh, they are homeless. 
Most of how these are destroyed, others are bent. As I tell you right now, fightings are going on in Kakangara near Minembo area. That is why we need to work so much to find peace here in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Leaders are trying to multiply their efforts, but I'd like to see also global building network to bring a contribution to build peace here in this country. As uh, you tell us to contact the ambassadors, sometimes we try to do so, but uh, we don't happen really because we contact them, but they don't answer us successfully. That is why we would like your contribution to help us so that uh, we can join all of us, our hands together to bring peace in this country and around the world as well. About media, we have a project uh, 